operation, but after we fixed the right leg, then the patient noticed she could only walk about 100 yards or so before her left calf started hurting. It basically felt like her leg was cramping up or her calf was in a vice and pressing down. She would walk about 100 yards, she would have to stop, rest, the pain would go away, and then she could continue walking after that. Basically, she was having uh, uh, symptoms of claudication on the left. From that point, she underwent a simple blood pressure test called an ankle, ankle brachial indices, or ABIs, right, which showed di significantly diminished blood flow uh, at the level of the left calf. From there, she underwent a CT angiogram that documented the lesion in her distal left, left superficial femoral artery. And subsequently, she arrived here, and we're going to fix this lesion, hopefully, in a few you minutes. You know, coming down our, our uh, catheter now, Dr. Cleo's with the spider uh, filter, and that has markers on it to, to show you the portion that, and you could just see it spring out into the vessel there. And it looks exactly like, basically, you can, you can see it's, a, it's basically a windsock made of mesh metal with markers on the front and then the, the tip. Uh, there's a little bit of wire that sticks out the end of that, and we've got that in the in the popliteal below the knee joint level. So that's below the level we're going to treat, uh, and above the branch vessels. Push pull that for me. Above the level of the branch vessels in the calf. So really, by putting that in place there, we yeah. we've protected the the foot and uh, and the distal uh, muscles of of the calf from uh, from any debris that might break off during the course of the procedure. So that's in good position now. John's just getting everything set up here. Uh, we noticed a little bit of disease on our CT angiogram and our proximal superficial femoral artery. So he just wanted to take some oblique images of it and make sure there wasn't uh, vessel overlap and we're missing uh, some significant disease up higher. What, what I think we're going to start with is uh, we're going to begin, pro you know, generally the rule of thumb is that you begin treating proximal disease and then you progress down, downstream. And although uh, there isn't any critical narrowing in this area, there is uh, some disease in there. We know it to be fairly uh, concentric, so meaning fairly likely to be physiologically significant based on the CTA. So I think we're going to make some cuts through this uh, proximal area, and then we'll go down and get that more severe lesion uh, just above the knee joint. But we're going to focus right here on this uh, proximal disease, so I'm going to do some magnification uh, uh, views so we can get a nice uh, mask, and then we'll be, we'll be proceeding with the atherectomy. Well, her contralateral uh, leg had very severe disease. She had a, a complete occlusion of the vessel, not just areas of stenosis or narrowing, but a total, total occlusion of the vessel over a fairly long length. When you're dealing with that, it can take quite a while to, uh, to resolve that. Oh, wow. We've got our atherectomy uh, device in position, and if we can go to the left, the floral, the live floral screen, uh, there we go. And you can see the catheter, uh, the atherectomy catheter has a little notch, which is right at the very top of the screen. There's a little notch in the catheter. That's where the cutting blade is. We're going to bow against the wall of the vessel and then turn, turn the blades on, and we're going to sort of shave the plaque off the inside of the vessel. So we've made, uh, we made a few passes with the atherectomy catheter there. Hopefully James can uh, clean some of the uh, atheroma out of the tip of the device. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's, uh, you're seeing him pushing the plaque out. This is the bacon that you had for breakfast, the cigarettes that you smoke, uh, all that bad stuff that you're doing. This is what builds up inside of your vessel. Uh, you see it's white, it's glistening, it's fibrotic, it's not a soft, mushy plaque that you think about when we're talking about arterial disease. This is the stuff that narrows the vessel over time. And if she does not stop smoking or she doesn't change her lifestyle or become more active, this will return. But uh, basically what you're seeing is that atheroma that we showed earlier now being shaved out of the vessel. Yeah, we've got one little area of, uh, of, of mild narrowing about uh, two-thirds of the way up. Uh, the screen that we're going to make a few more passes, a couple more passes through there, and then let's go ahead and load the catheter on there, James. And then we're going to go ahead and proceed. Now, what Dr. Tonkin is doing at this moment is advancing the atherectomy device back through the sheet that he put in earlier, and you got to make sure the blade is inside of the atherectomy and that you're not uh, cutting the sheath itself. And once he gets it in position, we're going to go to live fluoro, and we're actually going to see him pass the catheter down through the area of abnormality, which you see at the upper two-thirds of the screen right now, and uh, we'll see the device actually being uh, activated. You can see on the live fluoro, Dr. Cleo, we turned the little notch out there lateral in the vessel. 
right. and we're going to kind of we're going to get it poised really